A pair of open letters from the faculty chastised the administration for calling in state police this weekend to clear Dunn Meadow of Gaza war protesters. With Israeli pop music blaring from Shabbat House just across the street, the student-led pro-Palestinian protest continued on Dunn Meadow, a day after Indiana State Police led the way in clearing the tense city that had sprung up in opposition to a recently passed ban on inhabiting campus property overnight. IU faculty is backing up the students' rights to free speech and peaceful assembly, issuing a pair of open letters. Quote, this outrageous violation of the safety and well-being of our university community must stop now before someone is killed. The administration has crossed a red line by choosing an authoritarian stance that is antithetical to the mission of an institution of higher learning. In doing so, it has damaged the university's credibility and moral center. Faculty and students argue that for decades, Dunn Meadow has been designated a safe zone for peaceful assembly and the practice of free speech. If you designate a space like Dunn Meadow as a free speech zone, as a public forum, you're entitled to make certain rules for it to govern its use. The university anticipated this particular group's use and this group's speech. They changed the rules that have governed Dunn Meadow since 1989, and uh, and it disadvantaged this group. And it gave the re it, it it gave the police the only reason that they had on Thursday to go in there and tear down the tents. One faculty open letter with approximately 500 signatures is calling for IU President Pamela Witten to be dismissed following this weekend's Dunn Meadow disbursement and the results of a no-confidence vote two weeks ago. A faculty-led rally will be held at 10 o'clock Monday morning on the IU campus. In Bloomington, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.